Alright guys, you guys already know who I am, King Sovereign 9 that's my YouTube channel, but you guys already know that I go by Sovereign1, and you guys already know what the movement is, and the movement is of course where Shun. So guys, I'm here with my fifth video, yeah, this is going to be my fifth video, and like I always told you guys that I'd be ready to do some tutorials with you guys. So I have another one coming up today. It most likely it's going to be a two-part tutorial. So because I don't want to really waste your guys' time too much, so most likely it's going to be just a two-part tutorial. So I'm gonna be speaking a little quickly in this video because we all got mess to do, and we got all and we all have graffiti to learn. So guys, let me show you just my my update. Now I know these aren't my typical stickers that look like this you know what I mean guys but these are more of the the trades that I'm gonna be doing with you guys now don't think that they're like a watered down version of what I usually do because these are just the extras to to fill in your pack just so you guys can get a fat pack so um so here they are and I have some shout outs after this alright guys regular postal mail stickers wear shun you guys already know me sovereign nice little throwy um and i know you guys are probably like oh my goodness he finally did different colors other than yellow and green and pink <laughs> yes i did i did um neon blue neon orange um same thing here just a uh, reverse color scheme it's still wear shun wear shun full throwy though sovereign once again that's me and of course you guys know I love characters to death so basically I did a little computer screen and the computer screen it says YouTube slaps so Sovereign Wear Shun LA Rep of course you guys already know and here's another character I know he really came out like that thing from Monsters vs. Aliens or Monsters Incorporated yeah Monsters Incorporated thanks Mike yeah <laughs> that's Great. my yeah, yeah that's my homie Mark One you guys already know my cameraman shout out to him and of course you guys know that I usually try to take it as far as possible on whatever canvas I have to do and today my canvas was just this little sticker Sovereign Wear Shun LA Rep um I guess he's like a walrus with a bird's beak I gave him a backwards shark fin, some nice bulging eyes to look at you. And why people do we do the big bulging eyes and why do we do the uh, the interesting faces? For one big simple reason people, we need to have good looking characters. A good looking character is like a fine girl at a party. It gets all the attention and that's what you need. Okay guys, here we go. A goldfish, but he's obviously blue, so he's a blue fish. Double lips. He has two sets of lips on top of each other. Alright guys, he has three eyes. Sovereign wears shun, really unique looking character. And then Rice Kid, you asked me to help you with your tag. I told you that tags weren't my strong point, but I don't know, I guess a lot of people like the way I tag, and I know this might be a little different um, from what you've seen, but I hope you honestly like it. And if you don't, I'm a perfectionist, so basically I'm going to come back and do it again if you really don't like it, so that's for you. Alright, other shoutouts, Amazer, you're the homie, you know that dog. Um, you do amazing artwork. You're actually one of those people out there who's really, really amazing, dude. You do the nice mesh caps. You do the sick canvases, full colors, amazing characters. You know what I mean, dude? So, what do you call it? Keep doing what you're doing. You know, sell your stuff for what they're worth, though. I know a lot of people have been telling you that, too. So, put your price range up a little bit. Um, but of course you're doing amazing though. And big shout out to all the girl graffiti writers out there. There's a whole mess of, uh, just a big generation of new graph girls out there. So big shout out to every single one of you ladies out there. And now it's tutorial time. I wasted enough time. <laughs> so what do you call it? You guys need to get your sketch. And you guys know how I work. I always let you guys pick what the character was. And the first people to contact me they said the most the most that I got from the first three people was monkey dragon and amazer he's been asking for a weed plant so I mixed the three together as best as I can as quick as I can cuz I had to go drag mark one out of his house <laughs> when I got when I had to do this so I actually just finished this like five minutes ago but he's actually already one of my favorites and this is how he looks so so yeah guys you guys already know, mad scientists creating crazy characters. Basically, dragons, face, I mean, 
I don't even think you really need that much of an explanation. Just look at Homeboy. Amazing looking character, I think. Amazer, that little weed plant right there is for you, dog. I know you can't smoke it like you do in your videos, but that is for you, bro. Alright, guys. So, get your colors. I'm going to show you guys how to color and go in depth today with your secondary color like I did in the first video so you guys need to get all three of your well not all three maybe you have ten different colors that you're gonna use but I don't got that time <laughs> so I'm gonna do my trademark for you guys and that's how we're gonna get it popping today so guys basically when it honestly comes to coloring it's very very simple you just have to uh, follow two rules don't go outside the picture we all learned that in kindergarten and do not overlap your colors with different colors unless you're trying to blend and do not overlap your colors with the same color because you're gonna have little dark spots on different areas and you definitely don't want to have that so let's get cracking we're gonna use green because you guys already know that's the biggest color we use to be honest I didn't even know what the heck I was gonna do to be honest but I know most of them is gonna be green alright guys so follow me really carefully because I'm gonna go really really quick so let me bust real quick alright you guys see the inner earlobe I made it like a like a goblin's body so what do you, I mean like a goblin's ear I'm sorry so what do you call it you guys can just look at that alright guys now as you can see my highlighter or marker is slanted and you're gonna definitely want to use that so let me just stop talking and get in there alright guys when you get in there you're gonna want to have a very very smooth stroke and you are not gonna want to go within the ear at all just like that and remember you do not want to overlap your colors within each other and now I'm using the tip so I don't go outside of the line either so basically I highlighted the inner area of it and now I'm just cleaning it up scratching and cleaning it up you guys already know that I'm a comic book artist too and I do graffiti on the side because I love graffiti almost as much as I love comic book art and I have a graffiti comic book in the works and of course it's where shun so you guys will be able to see that in a few months when it's all done so basically you're gonna keep on going with the smooth edges and you're not gonna make any mistakes and when you have little white open areas like that do not panic just use the, sh the slanted tip to go in oh mark said we have two minutes I talked way too much already <laughs> so <laughs> so there's gonna be three videos to this but come back though alright now let me show you guys how to do this one real quick BAM 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 BOOM BOOYAH there you go just like that alright guys right here it's very simple nice easy strokes one two three four use the sharp part five upside down six seven eight nine and ten BOOYAH okay really nice so just to show you guys how quick we can go alright so we're gonna get into here too you're gonna curve 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 and curve and curve again just like that and then you're gonna go on the outside and do that once again once again you're not gonna wanna hit the teeth because obviously that's either gonna stay white or maybe like a dirty yellow and I think we're gonna have to make that a dirty yellow to contrast the colors to make them pop out okay almost like a HD effect okay alright guys we got about a minute left I'm gonna finish this I'm gonna finish the bottom part to show you guys one two three just make sure you catch the creases alright guys that's it for tutorial part one so you guys I'm just gonna finish this part and this will be done by the time you see the opening of tutorial part two okay guys peace out sovereign one you better watch my next video see see ya